All right. So, Ryan, let's open this first seal. What is it? The Bible says, and I looked and behold, a white horse. He who sat on it had a bow and a crown was given to him. And he went out conquering and to conquer. Uh, what else is it? Well, you know, a lot of people make an assumption that because he's riding a white horse, this must be, mean Jesus. Because in Revelation 19, we see that Jesus rides a white horse. But uh, that doesn't work with the context at all. In fact, the first four sealed judgments involve the four horsemen of the apocalypse. And each of the four horsemen of the apocalypse are involved in judgments. Judgments that unfold on planet Earth. As the first seal is open, the first rider on the horse does his thing. As the second seal is open, you have the second horseman of the apocalypse. All of them deal with judgment. So this individual is not Jesus, but is rather the Antichrist. And he comes forth conquering and to conquer. He has a bow without an arrow. It means that he hasn't started any war yet, but he's got the mil military power to do it if he so chooses. And that may relate to the fact that he's able to enforce a covenant on Israel and the Middle East. He's got that military power. Yeah. And so here we have the, going back to Daniel, you find the fact is that the, the Antichrist actually signs a covenant with Israel, a peace treaty that's supposed to last for all seven years. Right. 